everybody. We continue to do our interview with some girls from different countries. And today we have uh, Daniela, yeah? Yes. Daniela, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she's, uh, well, half Italian, yeah? She's half, half Russian. Half, half Italian, half Russian. Well, it occurs in our life. Well, uh, I particularly remember this. Lasciatemi cantare, cur la chitana in mano. E solo. Lasciatemi cantare. Canzone, piano, piano. Oh, you speak Italian, I suppose. Of course. <laughs> okay, uh, Daniela, uh, first of all, uh, what do you do in Russia? Uh, actually, I had no choice because yeah. I moved to Russia when I was like 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I lived for 15 years in Italy, then almost one year in Iran, mm -hmm. and then we moved to Russia. And, uh, well, Italy is a, a sunny country with a lot of art, music, Indeed. people chatting every minute, every second, like bye-bye, right. uh, uh, bye-bye, bye-bye, it's a song of um, <laughs> System of a Down, but about pizza. Yeah. Uh, well, and you moved to St. Petersburg, well, not sunny at all. And actually, that was not St. Petersburg, it yeah. was Chelyabinsk. Oh. Even worse, <laughs> <laughs> to explain. Well, yeah. well, and that was a little village close to Chelyabinsk, not Chelyabinsk city. It, it was even worse for me at 15 years old, because it's an age when you just grow up and uh, still a teenager. And oh, it so was crazy. You're a brave and tough girl now. <laughs> yeah. So, what was your first expression about Chilavinsk and this oh, village? Yeah. Uh, Does it have a name, this village? No. Actually, Ismailovka. Ismailovka. No one knows where it is, but it's close to Chilavinsk. Ismailovka, and, okay. Uh, um, when we moved, like, I was 15 years old. We were, like, in Moscow for 10 days, almost. And then we moved to Chilavinsk, and then to my grandma's village. And when we came, it was a really poor village, like, you mm. know, typical Russian villages mm -hmm. where these homes, like, I don't know to compare which we film, because it's just... And uh, my first question to my mom was, was uh, when can we go back to Italy? <laughs> like... So you didn't like this village? I was really um, kind of... I can't even say surprised. <laughs> and uh, I had to stay there for two years. Two years? Yeah, actually. It was not a problem for me because uh, I spoke in Russian even in Italy with my mom, but I couldn't read and write in Russian. So it was. And how, I had how to. Old was she, uh, how old uh, was you? Uh, when we moved to yeah. Russia? 15 years old. 15 years yeah. old. And. Uh, I had to 15. somehow yeah. study how to write, read in Russian, and uh, thank you God, because my grandma and my um, grandpa uh, were teachers. Mm -hmm. So my grandpa was the director and my grandma was a teacher, so it, it was easier for me to learn these things, and uh, I had somehow to finish Russian school. Mm -hmm. It was crazy for me. Even at school, I remember Teachers couldn't even um, imagine from where I was because they were like, how a girl from Italy can be right now here? Like, there, no one believed. <laughs> and uh, that's how I survived. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And and, it was uh, really hard. How would you describe uh, this school in Chilabinsk? Um, people there, pupils. Really closed. I mean, I, w I remember I was always smiling because, you know, in Italy it's a normal mm. thing. And uh, someone once told me, don't smile like that. I, I mean, and I was like, why? And I said, no one does like this in, in Chilabinsk. I said, okay, how do you smile <laughs> no in Chilabinsk? No one smiles in Chilabinsk, remember these guys. <laughs> I mean, how do you smile in Chilabinsk? Like this? <laughs> okay. 
just uh, you must uh, teach this. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, I saw a sketch on a Saturday night uh, evening. It's a famous uh, program in the United States yeah. where Russian you know, people try to smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you did you get the idea of how not to smile? Even no. right now, no, I can no. do that. No. I'm already seven years in Russia and I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I always smile, so it's, it's fine for me. Okay, you, you doesn't fit in our system, actually. <laughs> so, uh, then you moved to St. Petersburg, or no? That's just the beginning of my no? story, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I moved, when I finished school, I moved to Chelyabinsk uh -huh. uh, to study. And, uh, Did you see uh, the meteor? Yeah, I was there, yeah. Yeah, but I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone you, you was mean... screaming, it's the end of the world, or just Americans, Americans, and I was like, what, what is going on? And uh, You missed the major part of entertainment. Yeah, and uh, I lived there for almost one year. Mm. I started and uh, I started to work. Mm -hmm. at 16 years old, mm -hmm. 17, 17 years old. And uh, I worked a lot um, as translator. I mm -hmm. had a lot of conferences. I helped a lot of... Um, translate uh, from Italian to Russian? Uh, also English oh. and French, because I know even French. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I studied in school in Italy. Mm -hmm. And um, there were a lot of uh, foreigner students and teachers who came for exchange to Chelyabinsk. And uh, I was just showing the city, helping them. And I love that a lot. Mm -hmm. So my life a little bit changed from the village Russian to Chelyabinsk. And uh, then I moved to Surgut. No, no, no. About Chelyabinsk. Mm -hmm. So what is like? Chelyabinsk yeah. city. Uh, it's better than the village. <laughs> Actually, I have to say that I loved. I lived in uh, the center of Chelyabinsk. Uh -huh. And uh, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like that. It's a pretty clean city and with lots of new um, buildings. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not that... Uh, and when you was guiding around the city, your guests, uh, what did you show to them? Mostly the center of the city, mm -hmm. obviously, because uh, the other um, areas weren't that good. Mm -hmm. But we were in other areas too. I remember I had a um, um, teacher from Colombia. He lived in the worst um, area of Chelyabinsk and I had to accompany him to home. And then I was warning because it, it was just scary. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, you moved to Surgut. Yeah, because uh, my parents were uh -huh. living there. My uh -huh. father is an in engineer uh -huh. yeah, and uh, he was working there. Uh -huh. That's the main reason because they moved. Well, and I suppose not, not because you, yeah. <laughs> you wanted yes, to. Yeah. And, uh, oh, so good. It's the city of my life. <laughs> my dream. <laughs> and um, so I lived there for six months. Mm -hmm. Then I moved back to Chelyabinsk mm -hmm. and to Samara. Mm. And uh, I lived in Samara for how many? Four years. Did you enjoy Volga? Did you, did you get the idea I of loved Russia? Samara. I mean, it's the best city for me right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I got used to mm -hmm. live there and uh, I loved it. And how would you describe Samara city? Oh, it's Samara Garado. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, the center of the city it was... Like Do you fun. recommend uh, to some foreigners to come to Samara? Yeah. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> We have a new, new destination, <laughs> thanks to uh, Daniela, our main promoter. Just come of, to visit Samara. Yeah, of Samara City. Okay, and uh, what did you do in Samara? I worked in Italian consulate. Oh, mm. yeah. well, it's a pretty job, actually. Yeah, Especially. there was a serious uh, like mm -hmm. jump for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you? And then I moved to St. Petersburg. Okay, let's stop. Uh, what was your relationships with uh, other people? Well, maybe with some male part of mm -hmm. Russian people. Mm. How did they uh, how did they 
perceive you? How they, what, what did you, they think about you? How did they approach? Lots of people couldn't even believe that I was from Italy. Like, I speak Russian very well, because mm. my mom is Russian, and they were like, mm, you really Italian? Like, say something in Italian. And when say I something started, in Italian, yeah. by the way. Ciao, mi chiamo Daniela. Oh. Piacere. <laughs> And uh, they were like, ah, when they watch my name and my surname, and they were like, ah, you're a foreigner. Like, why don't you say that you're a foreigner? Say, why I have to say that I'm a foreigner? For example, in hospitals or at mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And I was, I have to say the first word that I'm Italian so that we can change some, like, the way we talk. I mean, mm -hmm. if I'm Russian, even it's normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, what about men and boys? Oh, especially um, in Chelyabinsk. I suppose. Well, yeah. I I'm from Chelyabinsk, and here is yeah. oh my God, the goddess. I the want goddess. To... <laughs> she came to our city. She's from Italy. She she smiles. Oh, <laughs> well. Uh, when uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, when I moved to, to that village first at school um, many guys were watching me like an alien like wow what the and fuck is that yeah, <laughs> yeah and they were like it's something they were even scared to speak like oh wow and oh, okay. can i touch you <laughs> yeah and lots of girls were like hmm mm -hmm. daniela mm -hmm. uh -huh. like Cheers. The yeah. enemy of the state yeah. now. And I was like, okay, I don't need your boys. I mean, <laughs> what? Especially in Ismail. <laughs> that was crazy. And uh, in Chelyabinsk it was fine. I mean, I, I were in lots of conferences and um, lots of people uh, in Chelyabinsk knew me as a girl that knows six, six languages. Mm. And uh, also, I'm studying Korean, but it's Korean. not the same. Korean? Yeah. Oh, Korean. Yeah. You will be starting Korean because, well, you have... Kind of Asian... Um, well, kind of, you yeah, know, yeah, tint yeah. of Asia. That's, you and, know, you know why? Because yeah. I have some Mongolian roots. Oh. But very, very far. Oh. <laughs> so, that's it. And so, uh, you're a typical Russian girl with some Mongolian roots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, I mean, in Chelyabinsk, I found lots of uh, friendly people, mm. and uh, that was better for me because uh, on that village, I thought that I lost something because I moved from Italy, where I had lots of friends, um, relatives, and lots of people who knew me, and there I was just like, boom, mm. <laughs> who am I? I mean, it's, mm. I, I had a kind of depression. Even I was the first year, I was crying like all nights, like uh, I wanted to go back, mm -hmm. it was crazy, mm -hmm. and then... Okay, so uh, then you moved to St. Petersburg, well, uh, it's, it's better uh, than uh, if you first go to St. Petersburg and then <laughs> to Ismailova. Uh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, you moved up. Yeah. Uh, well, in terms of, you know, beauty of the city. Well, sorry guys from another city of Russia, but I'm from St. Petersburg while well, I'm saying that right now. Okay, uh, uh, what was your first impression of St. Petersburg? Saint Petersburg. Uh, I was here like one year ago for the first time. Uh, we were here with my boyfriend uh, mm -hmm. for a stand-up festival. Because mm. he's a comedian. Oh. Yeah, and I also organize some uh, comedy nights. And he makes jokes with microphone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. And um, the first time I was like, wow, mm -hmm. that, that looks like Italy. I mean, in the north of mm -hmm. Italy, like Milan, Turin, was where I lived, it's the same. Mm -hmm. That's maybe because lots of uh, architectures were mm -hmm. Italian. Yeah, 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 that's true. And I found that amazing. Like, when I saw Petrogradka, Mm -hmm. I was like, this is Turin, I mean, mm. it's my city. Oh, I've Same. never been to Turin, well, <laughs> I, now, now I know what it's, it's Ragratka like. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I want to live here, mm -hmm. because this is the only place that reminds me Italy. Mm -hmm. So, 
Mm. It's a strange thing because when I hear when someone calls our city the Northern Venus, I always ask what about Venus? Well, besides the water and a couple of buildings, yeah. Because Peter the first wanted to build New Amsterdam, not, not Venus. But now, now, well, um, you get me some information. Uh, and uh, what about climate? Well, especially in November and December. Oh, you know, I hate when it's very hot. Oh. Like, uh, maybe it's weird because I'm Italian and I have to <laughs> say that it's the best, but no, I always wanted to live in a place where on summer it will be like kind of cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was like, St. Petersburg is the best place for me. You're a very strange <laughs> Italian girl, <laughs> yeah. actually. I always dream to move in, like to Canada or Iceland. Yeah, so no. I think that it's fine for me. No, I mean, no, no, I no we stick to Korea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, I mean, uh, I haven't been in uh, St. Petersburg in winter, so mm -hmm. I still don't know what, how is it, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it's fine. I mean, I lived in Surgut on winter when it was like minus 48 mm -hmm. degrees, so it was, I think, even worse than here. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, when you talk to some Italian and, uh, well, uh, he or she yeah. has uh, his or her perception of our city. He has his own image. What it's like? You know, like they asked me, like you lived not in Moscow, not in Saint Petersburg, like the, the, uh. the most European cities in Russia. You lived in Chelyabinsk. We don't even know where it is. Like tell us, just do some videos, show us how it is. And uh, they were like, okay, do you have some beers there? <laughs> or, I don't know, like they were really scared. I mean, I, I, I remember once someone asked me, do you have internet there? <laughs> <laughs> do you have some food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that's how, what they think of the other part of Russia. Like. Mm. Is it about Russia or maybe uh, people of Italia don't know something about, I don't know, China or India or it's only about Russia? No, I think also China and India too, like all Asia, it's something weird for, for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the only thing they know is where it is Italy mm -hmm. and America. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, lots of... Uh, yeah, maybe France also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also. <laughs> and uh, nothing else. Like. But Italian people, they're, you know, uh, they're, they chat a lot with each, with each other. Do you have this, uh, you know, stuff? Do you like... When I want to talk chat, about... chat, you know, I... constantly, permanently. I do, but I see that Russian people are always closed. So I, um, first two years, like I always wanted to, yes, to have this contact, to talk, and mm -hmm. and then I was like, okay, mm -hmm. do you want to play? Okay, let's play. I'll be serious too. Like, fine. What about Russia that you uh, don't like? Ah. Oh. That's a really hard question. Well, I mean, not hard. We, we are in Russia, we can speak openly. <laughs> you know, yeah. we are not uh, um, hypocrites. Perhaps uh, I see a lot of things that can easily change. Mm -hmm. Like, um, not in St. Petersburg, I mean, in other cities. Um, you can change the architecture, lots of things. You can do a lot of things simpler. And mm -hmm. people, maybe, will be more happier like, yeah mm. it's not that hard i mean but it's up to our government i think mm. and uh, about our government well uh, we have some different point of view about that uh, as you know probably yeah. so uh what about you and politics of russia well uh i don't uh, like uh, I try to not uh, look at this because it's metal like, with. Yeah, I just do my things and uh, I try to don't look at the news and all this mm. stuff. But I mean, 
when you live here, mm -hmm. you can't close mm -hmm. all your eyes. So mm -hmm. sometimes mm, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> you have a Russian boyfriend. Well, maybe boyfriends, I don't know. Well, <laughs> no. uh, what, what about, no, I, I mean, step by step, <laughs> not at the yeah, same yeah. time. <laughs> uh, uh, what about them? Well, what about Russian boyfriends? And uh, mm. if you are going to compare them with you know, some Italian guy? Mm -hmm. mm, I had to say that um, when I was in Italy, I always told my parents that I don't want an Italian boyfriend. Why? Oh, I mean, because of this, <laughs> yes. Senorita. <laughs> I mean, they're too too romantic for me, maybe, and kind of uh, when they see a beautiful girl, like they lose all their mind. I mean, like, okay, they're ready to do everything for you, and maybe for me, it's like mm. I like the some um, how to say some hard uh, levels <laughs> yeah. and uh, I had a um, French boyfriend before mm. moving in Russia yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, then yes I had Russian boyfriends but uh, first experience no 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 uh, let's stop on the French boyfriend because it's an interesting <laughs> no, be, be, because I'm a I have a strong connection with France. Uh, I'm getting uh, in Paris. Uh, yeah. I have a lot of friends there. I have some people who live there and they move back to Russia. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, I'm really interested in uh, European or uh, your French boyfriend. Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, tell me something bad about him. No, no, <laughs> yeah. really. I, I, I'm, I'm just interested. Um, since he wasn't living in France, mm -hmm. so he was in Italy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I had. 15 years old, so he's oh. still a teenager, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I mean, I've been in France too, because my aunt, my aunt lives there, and I found that cool, I mean, it's nice, and lots of uh, French people, I thought that they, um, they're not like Italian, of course, mm -hmm. like warm, but um, I thought that they're really, um, how to say, smart? Mm -hmm. Intelligent, yeah, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, now it's time to talk about Russian boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want to offend any Russian boys. I mean, it's not like all Russian boys are like that. So my first experiences were like, um, I thought that they're really tall, mm. like, yeah, and. Um, I don't know, but I thought that they don't really care about girls like as themselves. Like they, they're like, hmm, like you're Italian, okay? I'll show you what Italian girls have to do here. Like, and I was like, no, bye bye. <laughs> and uh, when I moved to Samara, um, I started to go to comedian evenings, mm -hmm. and uh, and there I found my real boyfriend and mm -hmm. he was like mm, I don't know how to say funny people like they're more open to people mm -hmm. and uh, maybe because he had a sense of humor and sense of humor yeah. always uh, always shows that he has something in his head well, yeah he also mm -hmm. and um, I found that not all Russian guys are like mm -hmm. that I mean they're even kind boys and uh, so on so we're still together, mm -hmm. and it's fine for me. Uh, do you think that? Uh, well, not. I, I'm, I'm not sure about him or something, or someone else. Uh, are you going to marry a Russian guy? Um, I don't know, but why not? I mean, um, so you, you don't you don't scare of it? No, no, no. no. I mean. All people are, we have in all countries good and bad people, so I don't mm. think that Russian or like uh, they show in Europe or in America, mm. like all Russians are serious, bad, and uh, now. Ivan, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to kill this. <laughs> or Boris. <laughs> Boris, give me a, a vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So I see a lot of modern guys that are. Mm. 
it's okay. I mean, they look like European guys. And I mean, my boyfriend, for example, uh, lots of my friends asked me if he's French because mm. he looks like a French guy. I mean, it's yeah. Uh, so, uh, what do you do now in your life? What is your job? Uh, now I'm working as translator, mm -hmm. searching for something better for me because I'm in Saint Petersburg like for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it's just the beginning, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. I'm starting to look. What can I do here? Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I always dream to, uh, I mean, when I was in Italy, I studied in theater for mm. four years, but I could not study in a theater in Russia because I didn't know Russian history and literature. So mm. it was very hard for me. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's uh, my dream. I don't know if I can uh, mm -hmm. do this here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd love to um, work maybe in some other countries. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to stay in Russia. Mm -hmm. I'd love to maybe do some volunteer things mm -hmm. in Africa or even, I don't know, in some like places like that. Mm -hmm. What would you say uh, to, well, maybe a couple of foreigners who, <laughs> who maybe uh, can watch in this video about Russia? What, what is that, our country, in your opinion? Um, I mean, it's a great experience, mm -hmm. so you have to try that, yeah, because... Especially in Chelyabinsk. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and no, no, Samara, Samara. I, I, Samara is very like... beautiful, so yeah. you, you will not regret... But without Chelyabinsk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do it without Chelyabinsk. And, uh, I mean, Russian nature is mm -hmm. wide. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have lots of nature around. Mm -hmm. We don't have that in Europe, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it's also about our nature, uh, our inner nature in itself. And all about. Yeah, yeah. It's about soul and and, and uh, how would you describe a typical, uh, you know, Italian people? Well, who are they? They're very kind. Mm -hmm. They love to mm, be friendly, talk. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, well. Every time when I'm uh, in Southern Europe, well, including Italy, I ask myself, what do they do for the living? Because uh, it, it's like, you know, they always chatting, uh, chatting, drinking coffee. Well, Since morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, nobody gets any job. <laughs> I mean, I lived in north of Italy, so... Mm. There people work so Yeah, like, north of Italy, yeah, yeah I know. And, uh, yeah. But uh, I've, I've never been in South Italy, mm. so I can't say too much, but I know that yeah, they don't like to work a lot. They always have parties. <laughs> like, that's why um, some North Italians don't like Southern ones, because they say they don't never work. Like, they always want to dance and chat and drink, and nothing else. Well, it's, it's uh, always a party uh, for them. Yeah. It's usually things. Uh, it's like about Barcelona, Barcelona, yeah. and the south of Spain, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Daniela. Uh, well, uh, thanks a lot for coming. Thank you well, too. Uh, and uh, you can leave your comments. And uh, after that, I'm going to make some announcements about myself. Тут я уже вынужден обратиться по-русски. Во-первых, приношу свои извинения за несколько замутненный вид прекрасной Даниэлы, начиная с первой, третьей этого интервью. Это же домосонский заговор, мы здесь ничего не смогли сделать. Во-вторых, если вы хотите попасть на мои экскурсии, то сейчас это пока можно сделать в Петербурге. Проходные дворы, места, связанные с народной волей, даже с альтернативной музыкой 90-х. Экскурсии серии «Романовы без соплей». Это вас все ждет в ближайшие дни. Все подробности есть у меня в группе ВКонтакте, на сайте и в аккаунте в Инстаграме. Ссылки вы найдете в описании под этим видео. Well, and now, bye. Bye-bye.